Welcome to JMG Tenon Wraps. Today we're going to show you how to do a hand cut window on this Tesla Model Y. First step is to make sure that the outside window is clean, debris free. So I'm going to give it a quick squeegee off. Now spray the window again so you can place your film on. This roll is a 40 inch roll, so it has enough film to do both side windows. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to lay out the film, make sure it's covering the full glass. Fold the film in half, meet the bottom lines. Now we have both films cut out. We're gonna cut off this little excess right here. We do not need it. Push that over there. Now we're gonna clean this up a bit. All right, we clean it up a bit. Now we're gonna press the two tints together. And yes, I said two tints because I'm doing two layers so that this way we are cutting both sides in one shot, okay? So now that the tin is all pressed against the glass, we're gonna do the cuts on the edges. But before we do that, we go ahead and switch our blades out for a plastic blade holder. The reason why you wanna use a plastic blade holder is so that you could put pressure on the glass and not worry about this metal blade scratching the actual tint. So with a frameless window, you do want to start from this corner so that you could go ahead and glide it all the way to that edge over there without an issue. Break the blade so you always have a fresh blade going. Now we're going to do the side edge. Okay, now those two edges are cut. That means we're ready to kind of go for this bottom and side edge. What we're going to do is pick the tin up off a little bit. Spray. We're going to reposition the tin just a little bit outwards all around so that it tucks behind a little bit. All right, so now we pretty much have our cutout set up. All we have to do is trim it up. If you are a mobile person, how you would do that is going ahead and setting up each corner. How we're gonna do it is we're gonna bring it over to our glass board so that we could find correct everything.
I like to have the film at an eye level distance. Let's get close. All right, and then I use my finger to help me make a straight line. You want to make sure your blade is broken so it's a clean cut. Okay, like I said, I use my finger to make sure I can make a straight line. Now our cutout is exactly how we want it to look. It looks like an exact template of the glass. So now we're gonna separate the two films and place them on the individual glasses that they belong on. Now we're heat shrinking the window. What this is doing is it's conforming the tint to the glass. So all tin has a curve to it. So this is helping mimic that same curve. So we officially finished heat shrinking the front window. The way you know that you have finished heat shrinking is that you notice you don't see any fingers on the bottom line there. Okay, once you get to that point, that's when you know you're ready to install, which is what we're gonna go and do. With these frameless doors, you wanna have the window all the way up and you wanna fully expose the adhesive on the tent because you're gonna slide in the film. Clean your fingers so that this way you make sure when you touch the film, there's no contamination. And there it is, a fully done window.